Today's June 21st. Just uh, got up a little while ago at 7 o'clock on the dot. Here's uh, where I stayed the night. And the woods is absolutely quiet. Okay, except for that bird right there. He just started up. Uh, these are relatively easy days. Five miles and it's pretty much all downhill. Gonna get to eat food. And so this is like a, a nice day to look forward to. I've had three hard days and uh, so I'm looking forward to some rest. So I need to uh, break camp and uh, get on the trail, which is just right over there. Right there's the trail. Where is that Pacific Crest Trail? That's the way I'm going. And that's the way I came. Rogue River National Forest. The sign's been knocked down. I think I'm looking at the reverse side because starting here, I enter uh, BLM, Bureau of Land Management, but going this way is the beginning of the National Forest. So that was the Rogue River National Forest that way. <coughs> And now, Bureau of Land Management. Basically, the government owns all this property. Different people in charge of it. It's a pretty morning. It's neat how you, you enter, a, you go through the woods for a long ways, and all of a sudden you're in a clearing. So I don't know if this just didn't get a lot of rain, or maybe this was... Uh, you know, logged a long time ago and not replanted. And after, you know, the clearings are nice because you got a good views of the mountains and topography and then <clears throat> keep going and you enter the woods. There's Mount Shasta dominating the landscape. When you're on the PCT, you see this thing for several weeks. It's beautiful. The morning sun hitting it, all that snow on it. By the time the herd gets up here, it won't have all that snow. Just be a, a streak or two. See a few houses down the valley. This was a little confusing. I just came down near a road, which always uh, makes things murky, but somebody's built a brand new home here, right on the PCT. So you just walk through the construction site, it looks like. And uh, eventually you find your way here. <clears throat> well, there's the marker. Yeah, but that's uh that's weird. When you're the first person on the trail in the morning, you get all the cobwebs. And I've walked through a couple hundred today. Fortunately, they're not those big, massive, intricate ones. They're just always just a single line. I think they set it up so they can maybe perchance catch a moth or something. There's a bunch of little, tiny little, looks like moths. June 22nd. I spent the night at Callahan's, which is a really nice lodge. Uh, after spending several nights in my tent out in the woods, uh, last night I was treated to a lovely room with a jacuzzi and hot, let's see, no, jacuzzi, fireplace, and a balcony. 
So, didn't need the fireplace, but I took advantage of the jacuzzi. So today I got to go up to Ashland to do grocery shopping. Ashland I thought was co-located with Callahan's, but it's another 12 miles up the road. So I'm standing here. Apparently it's okay to hitchhike in Oregon on the interstates. I'm just going to stand here at the uh, uh, at the entryway to the freeway, and maybe I'll get lucky. I have to get new pants. I had a crotch blowout a couple days ago. I mean, the whole crotch is blown out. So, but I use this uh, tenacious tape, and I, tape doesn't hold any cloth. I mean, have you ever used? Can you imagine trying to hold pants together with tape? And it sticks great. I even washed it through the, the washing machine. It hangs in there no problem. So it's good stuff. Comes another shot. I'll try him. As a rule, cement mixers, you know, they don't usually pick you up. That took about 10 minutes, but I got a ride from Earl. So I'll walk the rest of the way up this ramp and head on into Ashland, which is to my left. Go to the outdoor store first. then do grocery shopping then figure out if I want to stay a night here or go right back out on the trail today it's going on two o'clock I've uh, caught a ride up to Ashland from a local hiker that was very familiar with the PCT and um, caught that was lucky dropped me off at the interstate Interchange there, walked on into town, got another ride from another hiker. Just sort of yelled out to me, Hey, you hiking the PCT? I'm like, Yeah. He gave me a ride straight to uh, right to the outdoor store where I needed to go to start my shopping to get a pair of pants. So, do, do I look any different? Because I have a new pair of pants. Surprised you didn't notice already. Let me see what we got over here. No, this is where the trail comes out. Okay. Right there. Behind me. So I guess they, coming out there, they roadwalk. Which is what I'm going to do until I get back on the PCT, which should be right up here. And that's the trail symbol. It's nice they put that down there, because when you get back to civilization, the trail's not so obvious as it is in the boonies I was I was hoping there'd be a sign or something so I wouldn't miss where we where I get off the road and couldn't be any more obvious than this so after about a half mile road walk uh, the PCT is uh, got its own space once again there are sections where it's just not practical to try to force in the trail, maybe due to property ownership or the, the lay of the land. I don't know where they could have squeezed a trail in there. I need a little bit of water. I got a liter and a half. Over the next half hour, I'll get further and further away from the sign, sounds of the highway. Heading to Crater Lake. And based on all reports, 
there's no way to hike in or out of Crater Lake. So what I'm gonna, my plan is to hike to the trail to Fish Lake, about 60 miles, and then road walk 40 miles to Crater Lake. And then figure it out from there. Warm Oregon. Maybe a little hot Oregon. Uh, that'd be nice to have a cabin out here. This is one of the reasons why I wear long pants. Because all this tall grass, weeds, just ripping at your legs all day long. Look at that butte. I just walked out here. Is that that black butte thing I saw from way, way, way far away? When I was up on the other mountain? Am I going near it? I'll have to look at my map. This is a Soda Mountain Wilderness. It's relatively new. I can't remember the exact date, but I want to say like 2009 based on a sign I saw earlier. And that big pinnacle uh, I walked past just uh, earlier it was uh, Pilot Mountain. going on five o'clock you get these nice shadows amazing timber here by the way everything is pine right birds that's the PCT that way and this is the PCT coming out of Ashland not Ashland Callahan's actually um, it's weird, you head south for a little while, southeast, then east, and then eventually start making your way north. So right now I'm doing the easterly section, and then uh, in a few miles I'll start heading north, and then in 50 or so miles I'll make it to Fish Lake in Fish Lake Resort, which I have no clue what that is. I looked it up online, and it's interesting, it's a, it's a picture of a couple in a building. So they're, you know, proud owners, a married couple. Well, I don't know what temperature it is here, but it's perfect. I could do this all day. Little bit up, little bit of down. It's great. Done plenty of uphill. That's the routine, if you haven't already figured it out on your own by now, but when you go to Resupply Town, they're down the valley, so that last day heading into it's all downhill, which is great. But then coming out, you're loaded with three, four, five days of food. You're heavy and you're going uphill because you got to climb out of that valley. There are no resupply towns at the top of a mountain. I'm hearing all kinds of unfavorable reports, uh, not just Crater Lake, which I think I have a plan for, but north of that, the sisters uh, up there, Mount Thousand, up in the wilderness uh, in central Oregon. Uh, too much snow and there are no roads there's nothing up there 
I got no alternatives. I'll figure that out when I get to Crater Lake. Hey, they're back. These little things that kind of look like cucumbers. I mean, the plant even looks like a cucumber. It's a vine. Huge valley down south. All kinds of lives going on. Southern Oregon, I gotta tell you, it does, does look to be the good life. I've even had people tell me, it looks like it's got a lot of cultural stuff going. A lot of new vineyards, everybody's grown wine. A lot of the baby boomers that made bucks in California are cashed out and they've sold their $2 million homes and moved up here and bought a, places for half. And uh, looks like a just a good life in a beautiful area. I can see why they would leave Southern California for this. I think these trees are just so cool. It's like they got character. All this different moss and the big old tree and broken branches hanging down. Here's his buddy over here. A few less branches. These must have been giants. I mean, huge trees. Just grab two liters of water that spring. Come right out of the ground, but sign posted it has to be they recommend you purify your water so that's why I did but it takes 15 minutes to use it and it takes several minutes to get the water boil up to a boil and then another 15 minutes for food theoretically I suppose if the thing is I don't boil the crap out of the water as soon as it gets up to a couple bubbles that's good enough for me so I suppose that I could skip the 15 minute uh, treatment and just boil the potentially dirty water, but eh, something about that doesn't feel quite right. It just feels too risky. Windy. That's the one thing I've noticed since I've gotten up to higher elevation. I hope I don't have a windy night in the tent. Now you can see there's this stuff's not even moving, huh? Nothing. But way up up there. Those guys are just blowing all over the place and you can hear it. But the little guys down here where I am, it's really nothing. So you can see that my, that wind is coming up over that mountain and right on over. It was a northerly wind last night and that's the north. So maybe it's more of the same. Staying at 1725.9 tonight. I made it uh, despite my late start, in, uh, like 145 or something. Uh, I made it nine and a half miles uh, today. So that's, that's a good uh, Nero. This is the best I can do because after this, there's a, for a tent site next to the trail, so close. But uh, on further up, it gets there's a really steep section, and before I get to the next water, so I just don't feel like tackling it tonight. 
besides I decided I want to eat. So I'm going to uh, eat away from my tent. <clears throat> Boiled some water and uh, poured it into this uh, pad thai. And um, this is what I'll eat. It's a backpacker's pantry meal. And you know why I chose it? Because it's the heaviest thing in my food bag. <laughs> 